<laughs> Alright, so, again, hopefully this is visible. The reason I'm in night mode is because my house sucks lighting-wise. So, like I said, hopefully this is visible. Um, I'm going to do two coins of instrumental, whatever, instrumental lessons, sorry. Um, yeah, I just get frustrated with the fact that everyone that posts up on YouTube doesn't ever play things right away. So I figured, because this is really all I do is play Dispatch, that I could be useful to somebody. Um, so, and here we go. Uh, so you're going to start off on the G note on the um, third string. So 5th fret, 3rd string. Drop down, string. Actually, not while I play it through first, just so you guys can hear it. A little kick. The part that everyone fucks up is a. Uh <laughs> um. So yeah. So that's the. Hang on. So we'll go over that. It's a. Uh so it's the. Third string, fifth fret, fourth string, fourth pull, uh, four, five, four, pull, then hammer on, pull off, and then your A string, um, E, 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 D, sorry, E, D, and you just play your sample bar chord. If you're a true Pete Francis fan, you guys know he plays it up here. Um, Uses that G all the time, the G like that. But anyways, um, so it's just yeah, all day. And that thing that I was doing earlier is um, then the studio intro. Is a three pull off, and then up a string five, and three pull off, up a string five to the three. On the bridge, it's simply D, hammer on the E minor, and then you go, you're gonna play E minor 7, do the thing that Dispatch Pete does a lot up here, um, is play that D note right there, bottom string, um, halfway through, so it's... Pinky, throw that up to the now same fret. You're gonna make like a C chord um, with these three fingers, and then bar the seventh fret, and just all up and down the neck. Just for any future reference, that shape will make the A chord bar shape of this fret. So here, just to give you an example, this shape will give you actually the G chord. Like that. It works all the way up. E flat here. Um, e flat. It's the same, but that's not important. So, like I said, um, A C or A D. Sorry, A D G C. that simple. If you guys know Dispatch, Real Dispatch, when they go into um, Stoned Me, it's... Uh, or it's something like that, sorry. It's G... I don't, I, never mind, that's relevant. Because you guys don't know what I'm talking about anyways. Um, and the song's in the key of G. So, when soloing, you need to, if you're going to solo to the song and cover it the right way, that means you need to know how to solo like Brad Corgan. 
which he normally comes in from the first fret. And does a lot of that kind of stuff. And he does tremolo picking a lot, which I don't know how to explain. But it's just that really fast. So you need to know the whole... a lot uh, if you can get away with it in a song that's in G. Um, like Burning the River too, he likes that to do that. Um, anyways, that stuff's all kind of irrelevant because I'm retarded. But yeah, so just leave, hopefully that helps people. For people that are just learning how to play guitar, the way to get like a dispatch sound out of your guitar has nothing to do with playing reggae music. Because I've noticed on a few comments that people say stuff like that, it has to all do with you strum at your guitar, opposed to strumming down. People, a lot of people just do the whole. Uh, let's see if I can turn. Like you strum. Uh, it's not gonna work, but you strum down. Which like. like that, you can strum down, but if you're trying to do like the whole Chad thing, you need to come, actually, you can't really see, like, I'm coming at my guitar, opposed to, opposed to up and down, I'm coming in at my guitar, the whole, For people are trying to play the general. You gotta come at your guitar to get that sound, but so yeah, hopefully that helps someone somewhere. Yeah, cool.